What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today. So right now we are actually in my office where I got all my fishing stuff, my tackle, my rods, everything, my computer. This is where I spend a lot of my time making videos and uh, I'm actually kind of injured right now. So that's why I'm kind of inside. We're not out on the water today. I've got like a strained or really bad pulled muscle in my back. So I'm giving it time to heal. It's kind of been lingering for a couple of weeks now. So I'm just resting, trying to do my best to uh, get it to heal so I can get back out on the water. But Figured I could come inside, do a uh, kind of a knot tutorial. I was actually, I was thinking I I only know one type of knot and I actually made a video on it last year. It did really well, uh, how to tie an Alberto knot. That is my favorite knot when it comes to, you know, your main line to your leader. And uh, I only know one. My girlfriend actually knows, my girlfriend Maggie knows how to tie an FG knot, which is honestly, I think it's the most popular. Through all my research, uh, I've been doing a lot of research this week, YouTube, Instagram, uh, I've read so many things, watched so many videos, I've read so many comments, people telling me uh, tips and tricks on the FG knot. It is, it is by far, I think, the most popular. And uh, I didn't know how to tie it. So yesterday I decided, today I'm going, well, yesterday I decided I'm gonna learn this FG knot and then I'm going to teach people how to do it. So I watched pretty much every video on YouTube. Um, I asked my Instagram audience uh, tips and tricks. I took in as much info on the FG knot as I possibly could. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of what I learned and what I think is best and uh, easiest or uh, most efficient, most reasonable way to tie this knot. So, uh, I mean, I watch so much stuff and there's so many different ways to do it. Um, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I think is simplest and what I think is reasonable for tying the FG knot. So if you're not familiar, FG knot is a knot made uh, for your main line to your leader that connection right there, it's said to be very good because it's very slim and it cuts through the guides really easily or, get, or gets through the guides, I should say. And um, that's that's the real benefit. It's also supposedly very strong. Now I tied the Alberto. I've never had an issue with like the knot breaking or um, if it did, it was because you didn't tie it right. And I assume that's the same way with the FG knot, but supposedly it's one of the strongest knots. So I'm gonna show you guys what I learned, how to tie it today. And um, yeah, let's hop over and uh, hope you guys learned something today. All right, so we're all ready to go here, ready to tie our knot. I think I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Ready to tie our knot. You guys should have a pretty good angle on this. I think the videos are best when they're filmed from uh, kind of my perspective. You guys can see left hand here, 60 pound mono leader. Right hand, I've got 30 uh, pounds spider wire ultra cast braid. You can use fluorocarbon as well, as well as many different combinations of braid to mono. Um, in the weight. It's very good, this knot, for these heavier leaders, like 100 plus pound leaders. Um, I don't use that too often. This is a very good combo I use for snook a lot, so I'm going to do it with uh, with these two lines. I don't think it's very good when uh, people are filming with, you know, rope and stuff. That's not very accurate. You're not going to be fishing with rope or tying knots with rope. But um, the only other thing you'll need for this knot, something to cut with, something good, some good cutters. Uh, these are pen pliers. I really like the cutters on them. They are very solid, very, very solid. And then uh, the only other thing you'll need is a uh, lighter, a little bonus. I'll show you guys at the end of the video or end of the knot, and I think it'll help. I think it's worth learning or trying out, but most important thing with this knot is you're gonna wanna keep the line tight. So right now my rod is just leaned up against the wall. You can do it um, in a boat, put the rod in the rod holder, um, but mine's just leaned up against the wall here. We're gonna use the pinky method, learn this in a salt strong video. Um, so I'll leave a few other videos linked if you this video doesn't help you out and you want to try a different one, but I think it'll help you out. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this line, wrap it around your pinky a few times. Keep it nice and tight. Just wrap it around there to get it nice and tight so you can put some good tension on this braided line here. So that is the pinky method. Good way to start it. Next step is uh, you're going to take your mono uh, leader here, or fluorocarbon. I'll say mono though. And you're just gonna make one wrap around that mono leader, just like that. One wrap, we'll do that one more time. You're gonna put it up against and do a wrap. It doesn't seem to matter whether it's over or under, it does not matter. So that's the beginning of this knot. I'll do this knot very slowly so you guys can follow along at home. But there we go, one wrap. And now from here, it's really just figure eighting this mono tag right here around this braid. So figure eight, I'm gonna say over once, under once. So we'll call that two. I'll call that two wraps. Over the braid, under the braid. Now this is much easier to see once you're doing it. So do try this knot. 
it is uh, it is very easy. I learned it very fast. But we're going to do that around eight more times. Over, under, over, under. Now, I don't quite have the muscle memory because I'm still um, getting this knot, but I've done it about 50 to 100 times, I'd say now. We do it pretty quick. Over, under. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then you're going to want to pull the braid tight, kind of cinch it down on that uh, on that knot. It's starting to build here. If you guys can see, that braid is now probably half an inch down that uh, down our leader here. So we'll do one more. We'll do a few more, actually. A few more over-unders. Over, under. Over, under. I'll do one more just for good measure. Over, under. Now I've seen plenty of videos. A lot of people say 16 to 20 wraps. Um, I think I did about 16 to 20 there. I wasn't counting. I don't think you need to count. I think just get that braid going down the line. Just maybe about almost an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch right there. That looks pretty good. So 16 to 20 you should be good. Now from here, the next part of the knot is the finish. Now there's so many different ways you can finish. I'm gonna show you guys what I liked the best, um, which is called, I believe it's called the risotto. I might do a, even a little variation of the risotto. Do it the best I can. I found that it works very nicely and it leaves a very, it leaves a very clean uh, braided uh, tag end, I should say. So we're here. At this point, you can take uh, the, tension off the braided line and we'll pinch right there. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I got to reach over and grab my bail here, pop it open. All right. So now we're loose here. We've got tag ends going everywhere. All we'll do is just pinch that intersection and we'll let go of our pinky end here. Let go. So now I got two hands to work with. We're almost done here. This is pretty much the end of the knot. It's just this finishing portion. I do have about a foot of braid here as a tag end. I'll probably cut it to maybe eight inches or so. If you get better at this, you can get it just about perfect, but for demonstration purposes, I left it a little longer. So now that we're pinched right here, now we're gonna do our finish. So we're gonna grab our mainline braid here, and we're gonna pair it up with our tag end mono here. We're gonna use this risotto finish, I learned. So what we're gonna do here can be a bit tricky try to show you guys here. I'm just going to make this, uh, some people use the double, I believe it's the clinch knot. can't remember the exact terminology on it, but you're just going to wrap it around right here about six times. You're going to grab it. Instead of tying, you're just going to go wrap this around this part six times. I don't really have any good vocabulary for this. You're just going to have to kind of watch and, you know, make the best of what, but six times, this is our finish here six times and we're just going to pull it tight from here just going to pull it tight pull 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 this is going to finish it pull it nice and tight there get it nice and tight you might have to just play with it a little bit if you've ever tied a fly it's similar to like a whip uh whip finish where that line is going to kind of cinch under itself pull it tight so now we're going to take our braid line, we're going to tighten that finish. This is what's going to kind of end the knot. Pull it tight. Just make sure, pull it tight. So that looks pretty good right there. We're going to cinch it a bit more by grabbing the braid in our mono leader. I'm going to wrap this around here, kind of awkward because I'm filming, but we're going to cinch it down. Grab between both our hands just like that, and we're going to pop. This is how I usually cinch all my knots with the Alberto as well. Just make these little pops. This is what really gets it cinched. And what you'll see here is this color change people talk about in a lot of videos. It's kind of where your braid starts to grab into your mono. It's grabbing and gripping it. So it's not only holding uh, with friction, it's grabbing that mono and squeezing it tight. So that's what makes a really strong finish here. So our finish is tight. Our actual knot is tight. So now it's just time to clean everything up. We're pretty much done with the knot. We just got to clean up those two tag ends here. So what I like to start with is you have this mono tag end here, just pointing out just like that. 
We're going to cut it almost flush. And I say almost flush because we're going to use our lighter to get it pretty much flush. So we trimmed it. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. I know it's kind of hard to see. Trimmed it almost flush. And now we're going to trim that braided tag end next. Leave maybe, I like to leave this a little bit longer. Maybe about a quarter of an inch there. So now we're like this. This knot is looking just how I like it. Looking good. And now we're pretty much done with our knot. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of a trick that I learned. I can't even remember what video it's from. Just with our lighter here. Now this is just a regular lighter. But what would probably be good on a boat is a windproof lighter like this guy. I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can grab one on Amazon. It'll work just well. But since we're indoors, I'll just use a regular lighter. Now that mono leader is, po uh, I should say, poking out there. That's going to grab your guides a little bit. It's pretty flush. And in comparison to like a double uni or even a Alberto or an Albright, it is super flush. It'll go out the guides decently. And that's really all we care about is it going out of the guides, which is this side right here. That braided portion right there is what's going to go out of the guides. That's nicely tapered. This is actually, um, this is more important for when you're reeling into the guides. This is what's going to grab. So we want to make that as smooth as possible. We're just going to take this, uh, we're going to take the, the lighter here and just kind of just lightly burn it. Lightly, lightly, lightly burn it. That's pretty much all you need to do. So when you cut that mono, it's a real sharp edge. With the lighter, when you melt it, it makes it just a bit more round, almost shaped like a mushroom. And when that's uh, coming into your guides, you shouldn't really feel it. I've done plenty of tests, tons of casts, seeing what I like best. This is pretty dang good. Just as a little finish as well, we'll do just the same thing with the braid. Just a little, just a little tap on it. That'll kind of seal it up. It'll kind of make also like kind of like a mushroom looking cap on there. That'll prevent it from coming unraveled because that is our finisher, that uh, risotto. It's what's going to prevent the line from coming undone. So we'll just do a couple tests right here. This thing is not going to come apart. I can tell just the, by the way I tied it. Wrap it a few times around our hand and pretty much jerk as tight as I can. <sighs> Really, you could use gloves to really test it, but I'll end up cutting myself. Testing knots, I do it all the time when I'm on the water. That is pretty much a perfect, very, very simple. Now, I took my time with this. You can do this in probably two minutes or faster, maybe even a minute if you get really good at it and do it a lot. Probably do it in the dark as well. That's a perfect FG knot. It looks really nice, and I've never used one uh, up until a day ago, and it'll probably be my go-to. I uh, probably won't always burn the, the tips and all that, especially if I'm on the water. Um, probably do it when I'm tying up, getting ready to go out the next uh, morning. Do it in the afternoons when I'm at home getting rigged. But that is pretty much, in my opinion, is one of the best leader knots. And I know it's popular for a reason. It goes out the guide smooth. It's super strong. Looks really good. It's not some big thing that's going to be grabbing the water, going over fish's head when you're casting and stuff like that. It looks amazing. So that being said, we'll wrap this video up. All right, and that is the FG knot. It is a super, super sleek knot. Hopefully, you guys learned it today, enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, there's just so many different ways to tie this knot. You'll probably be okay with any way you decide to go. This is my way. This is the way I will probably do it from here on out. Um, the real variation comes with that ending finisher. Uh, there's so many different ways. I, I mean, I read so many comments from people over on my Instagram. There's probably 50 different ways to finish it. In my opinion, that was the sleekest, best looking look. It also felt like it was going to work the best in comparison to some other techniques I've seen out there where it's just two little, uh, what are they, half hitch knots or clinch knots, whatever they are. Um, in my opinion, this was the best way. And I, I tried so many different ways. I've tied this knot so many times in the past 48 hours. Um, pretty good at it now. So can't wait to really get, get to use it on the water. Hopefully my back heels and back on the water. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave down below what you guys thought of the video, as well as what's your favorite, uh, main leader or main <laughs> leader to main line, not let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.